Welcome to Small Business Saturdays and Market Makers and Risk Takers here on 95.9 FM AM 1600, the rock of talk. And this is Albuquerque Real Estate Talk with Tigo and Tracy Venturi. We're here every week talking about uh, real estate and what's happening in the real estate market here in Albuquerque. Tracy, good morning. Good morning. Good hey, morning. great to be here. Yeah. A little, little rainy, overcast uh, weekend. Yeah. Yeah, so we're with we're with Keller Williams Realty, and we have the team, the Venturi team of realtors. We specialize in residential real estate. And if somebody wants to reach out to us, Tracy, you know the best way is to call our realtor on duty line, which is nine three three six eight eight one. So this is a kind of an exciting weekend. We've got a, a great show here planned. And Tracy, do you want to introduce our guest and sure. talk about what we've got what we've got planned and why it's uh, very timely to have him here? Sure. Well, we want to welcome Scott Ashcraft. Hi, Scott. Hi, how are you this morning? Good, great. Thanks for being here on a Saturday morning. Thanks for having me. It's sure. great to be here. Sure, so it's a busy time for you. You're a home builder and second vice president That's correct. of the Home Builders Association. Home Builders Association of Central New Mexico. And this weekend, the Home Builders Association sponsors the Parade of Homes, which is a great event. Uh, happens twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. So here we are for our spring event. Great. You know, you know last weekend, um, the Realtor Association, we ha- had our big open house weekend where there was like 500 open houses last weekend. But, of course, those were existing homes. This event is just for well, the for the resale. Home, resale. Well, however you want to call it. Existing. resale. Yeah. But um, the, the Home Builders Association, how long has the Home Builders Association been doing the parade? I mean, years. Yeah, yeah, the parade has absolutely been going on for years, and it's a it's a great event for home builders. It's been very successful over the years. Uh, the event survived, obviously, the slowdown in construction that sure. occurred a few years ago, and uh, we're back strong. So how many homes uh, about this year uh, for the, the spring parade? The spring parade has 30 homes that are involved in the parade. Um, everything from, you know, a less expensive $200,000 home all the way up to a home that's uh, over $1.2 million. Ooh, Great. nice. So if somebody wants to check out the homes that are on parade, is there a website or a, a publication they can go to? The, the best way to look at the homes and find out who you want to see and what type of homes you want to see is to look at Sue Casa Magazine. There's a great spread in uh, this issue of Sue Casa Magazine, lists all of the homes uh, with great pictures, descriptions, directions on how to get to the homes. That's really your best resource. Great. I know we've always enjoyed the Parade of Homes to see the latest and greatest and what builders are doing and different styles of homes. Are there certain trends we might be seeing in homes this year? You know, um, I think that everything is really out there in the market for people to see these days. I don't, I, I can't pick something that's absolutely 100% in every one of the homes. Um, there's, there's a trend towards green building that I think is important for, uh, New Mexicans, important for us here as new home builders. Um, those homes that are green built are something that is more popular with the buyers. And so it's something that we're proud and happy to see in Albuquerque. Yeah. What are, what are some of the, I guess, uh, features of a green home exclusively? One of, the, one of the real important features of a green build home is water use. Obviously, that's important to all of us in Albuquerque and in New Mexico. Sure. So the green build standards are very specific toward what, uh, how much water you can use in a home, uh, inside the home and outside the home in your landscaping. So there's within the Home Builders Association here, you know, I know a few years ago, uh, you guys, I say you guys as the Home Builders Association, HBA, um, kind of put together the Build Green New Mexico standards. Is that is that correct? There is an organization, Build Green New Mexico, okay. that puts together those standards for green build homes. And then home builders in the uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico area follow those standards for green build. And not all green build homes are created equal. Is that fair to say? Well, there, there are varying levels. That's, that's, very, that's fair to say, absolutely. Everything from a bronze level home all the way up to emerald, which is the highest level of a green build home. So a house can be built green and have green features in it, but not necessarily certified by, uh, like, Build green. Exactly. And and that's what you just said is what's important. The certification process 
and a home that is certified is really what's important and a consumer should look for in a home. Something that the builder has taken those extra steps to make sure that they are following the guidelines of a Build Green program and incorporating what they need to into a home. As I understand it, that's extra checks, you know, like seven extra checks to make sure that things are being done or something. It costs a lot more to build certified. It does. It costs more to certify. And more importantly, um, the home builder hires a third party inspector to ensure that all of those aspects of the green build are being followed. And at the end of the construction process, the home is then certified as green built. If you're just joining us, we're talking with uh, Scott Ashcraft with uh, Las Ventanas Home and is also the vice president of the Central New Mexico. Let's see. No, it's Home Builders Association of Central New Mexico. Did I get it right? That's correct. Okay, got got it. it, Got it. And so we're talking about the parade. We're talking about some of the green build. Um, Just back to the parade. People can just go out and, and find the map. I know there's an online thing on the Home Builders Association website you can look up the different homes that are available um but they can just go right there there's not like invite all you know anything like that you just go that's the whole idea they're open house they're available to anybody to come through and talk to the builders correct that's exactly right tigo you just show up so what, what uh, are the hours the hours that I know, is it friday saturday sunday this well, Friday, yesterday. Saturday, Sunday. It started yesterday. The Parade of Homes started yesterday right. and goes from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. And so then, today, starting at 11 until 5, and then tomorrow, 11 to 5. And then the parade continues again next weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next weekend, same hours. So, Perfect. So, Scott. <laughs> and, and I know that a lot of the homes along the way have maps and information They'll have extra sucasas sometimes if you don't know. If you, if you stumble Absolutely. into one, you look for the little directional and you say, hey, there's one open. It might not be the one for you, but you can kind of get directed from there. Yeah, Every so, one of the homes does have a sucasa magazine at the home. There you go. So they'll, they'll probably be gone by this weekend, gone, or by next weekend, you probably won't be able to find any. But um, So you're, you're also a home builder. You've been a home builder for how long? I've been a home builder my whole life. I'm actually the fourth generation in my family oh to be a home gosh. builder here in Albuquerque. Yeah, so you used to, you used to have Ashcraft Homes, and, and some people may recognize that name. Um, your your company now is Las Ventanas Homes. That's correct, Las and, Ventanas Homes. And so you guys build, and I'm, Tracy and I are familiar with your, your product, but other people may not be. You guys build kind of um, semi-custom, would that be fair to say, a little bit higher end uh, a home, and you do a lot of infill work, is that correct? We do. We're, we're focused on trying to use those pieces of land that are still near the core of Albuquerque and build on lots and in locations still near the core of Albuquerque. Um, and we do, uh, I think a semi-custom is really a great description of what we do because we let our customers really customize our, our floor plans mm-hmm. or start from scratch completely with a floor plan of their own. So well, that's a great description. Let's let you promote your product. So what neighborhood or neighborhoods do you have right now? I know you had the, the, the neighborhood in High Desert. Is that still... Is that sold out or is that still? We still have homes available in High Desert. That is uh, the name of that uh, neighborhood is the Legends at High Desert. Right. Which is near Academy and Tramway. And we do have one home in that subdivision in that neighborhood that's on the Parade of Homes this year. Great. We have a second home that's in La Luz del Sol, which is near Coors and Delin on the west side of town. Yeah. And we have a home in that neighborhood that's on the parade as well. Got it. And what's your price point, let's say, at La Luz del Sol? At La Luz del Sol, we start at three hundred and thirty nine nine is right. our price point, and up in the Legends at High Desert, we start at four hundred and sixty five thousand. Got it. And so, um, La Luz del Sol, Tracy, you know that that area really well. That's you know that kind of built off of the original Antoine Predoc La Luz neighborhood right there, right on Coors, and and then what, just west of Coors there is where the La Luz del Sol is. And there's the original parts were Antoine Predoc. Is that Correct? That's, that's correct. Uh, about 30 years ago is when that uh, neighborhood was originally started, wow. originally I developed. I it was more than that. It may have been. Good, I was good thinking point. it was like the 70s, but yeah. 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 Anyway. Well, and there's two parts. La Luz, oh, right. which is on older. the east side of Coors, may have been the older area. La Luz del Sol, about uh, about 
30 years ago is when it was started. And La, Las Ventanas Homes has been very fortunate to develop the last little bit of land that's left in La Luz del Sol. We'll talk about infill. I mean, that's picking up a nice location. You know, obviously, good nowadays, a good central location for Albuquerque, which is I know people that have been here a long time thinking about Coors as a central location. But it is. It's a great spot there looking back toward the mountains. It is. It sits high atop a hill there just west of Coors Boulevard. So it's a great location. Really is infill these days and um, amazing views because of the location. Yeah. So if you haven't been out to that area, I, I just can't recommend it enough to go and see those homes there. Um, I, I don't know what you call them, but to me, they're really clean, contemporary, not really modern, but modern, just really inspiring because the windows and the views and, and the finishes that you guys use it's kind of like storybook, really. But. Well, uh, we appreciate that, and, and you hit the nail on the head. It's all about the windows and the views. Yeah, great. So we're going to wrap up this segment. We'll be back. We're going to talk more about home building in the Albuquerque area. I've got a little bit of market stats I want to cover. Um, we're talking with Scott Ashcraft with the Home Builder Association of New Mexico, and this is Albuquerque Real Estate Talk with Tigo and Tracy Venturi of the Venturi team. If you want to reach out to us and talk real estate, uh, we're, we're always available. Our website is Welcome Home abq.com that's welcome home abq.com and our team line is uh, 933-6881 and scott what is uh, your your las ventanas uh, website if somebody wants to just look at your homes and see what you got going on las ventanas nm.com is las, our website got it las ventanas nm.com take a break we'll be back shortly we're going to talk more about home building as well as some some pretty exciting market stats uh things going on around the city and the country Tracy Venturi with Keller Williams Realty, the Venturi team, with this week's Home of the Week. It's a great one at 1405 Pinnacle View, right next to the mountain in the foothills of Albuquerque. It's 4,546 square feet, four or five bedroom with a huge game room. Welcome back to Small Business Saturday, Market Makers and Risk Takers and Albuquerque Real Estate Talk with Tigo and Tracy Venturi of the Venturi team and Keller Williams Realty. We are here every week talking about real estate. We've been talking about um, the parade home this week, Tracy. And, of course, that's a big thing going on this weekend and next weekend. And if you're not familiar with the parade homes, it's something that the Home Builders Association of New Mexico does uh, twice a year. A couple of years there, it was a little bit thin. I got to say, there was not a lot of homes. But of course, you know, we just went through a little bit of a market change. But, but things are are definitely on an upswing. And we're joined by Scott Ashcraft with uh, Los Santana's Home and also Vice President of the Home Builders Association. And and Scott, what would you say from? I mean, we see it in in our world in residential real estate that things seem to be really on the upswing from a, from a home sales standpoint. What are you guys seeing in the building world? We're definitely seeing more. More customers out looking at homes now and choosing to build new homes at this point, which is great. That's what we want to see from uh, from our standpoint. And we're also seeing uh, those permits, you know, overall in the city and in the state, the number of permits for new homes is is starting to tick up. It's it's not shooting up. It's not something that's rising, you know, extremely quickly, but it is something that's on a steady upward trend. You know, something you and I were talking about before we came on the air was, you know, obviously there was a, a period there where there wasn't a whole lot of development going on from, and when I say development, that the, the land development, and that's a long process, correct, to get, to get lots ready to go to build homes on, correct? It is. I think a lot of people don't uh, appreciate the amount of work that goes into taking a raw piece of land, something that's anywhere from two acres to 100 acres, and developing that into lots that are ready for a home builder to build homes. Yeah, and so that, that can be a long process, not just the actual build out, but all the permitting and the uh, the, the approvals and the zoning and all the stuff that you got to go through, right? Absolutely. That's the entitlement process, and it can take anywhere from months to years. Got it. So it is important. And and it's something that hasn't happened for many lots in the Albuquerque metro area for the last few years. 
So we're starting to see that again, which is a good thing. Yeah, and and again, we talked about this earlier. Your your company, Los Ventanas, you guys specialize more in the infill, smaller projects, correct? That's that's correct. We are not a company that's going to go out and buy a hundred lots somewhere and and do a huge neighborhood. We really try to do something that's closer to the core of the city, smaller, you know, nine to thirty lots at a time. Something along those lines is really where we're comfortable. Are you seeing, I'm sorry, Tracy, are you seeing uh, younger uh, consumers, especially older millennials, late 20s, mid 30s, starting to want that product closer to the urban population center? Well, and that's absolutely what statistics are telling us at this point. Millennials are choosing and want to live in areas where they can, you know, go out and and walk to dinner or uh, walk to the gym or catch, uh, you know, something, you know, catch the uh, catch the bus or the train. So uh, that's definitely something that Las Ventanas Homes wants to focus on and make sure that we're in those areas where you don't have to get in your car and drive all the way across town to go where you want to go. Yeah, that's awesome. So the location on the west side is right by Jinja. It and is. there's a fitness place right there, and I think maybe karate or something. But, you know, it's it's west side, very close to the freeway. So getting downtown, the base, a lot of people that want to commute those directions, plus some areas you can walk to. If you want to go have a glass of wine, you can walk home. You can. That's absolutely. absolutely. So, you know, some, something we talked about last week was the trend is, you know, not so much suburban building. It, it's more the infill like you're doing. And we talked about the project that Kenny Hickus is working on down at uh, Central and Carlisle last week. And again, it's more of that kind of stuff that seems to be, you know, going for the next 30 years. That's what's going to be more popular and more more demand, it seems like, for for building. Would you agree with that, Scott? Absolutely. And that's something that that our company wants to focus on. And we think it's something that's good for the city. So if somebody wants to, if maybe they have a lot and they want to build just their house, do you do that? Absolutely. That's uh, that's something that uh, is important to our company. Uh, we can take a lot that a home, you know, a, a customer comes to us and says, look, I have a lot in this part of town. Can you start from scratch, help us design and then build a home on this lot? We love to do that. Yeah. And if you haven't seen their homes, I definitely suggest you get into one. You you obviously have your parade homes, but you have model homes all the time open, don't you? We do. We have model homes. in uh, Right now, we have two model homes in the La Luz del Sol subdivision at, uh, off of Coors, and those are open all year. Perfect. That'd or, be great. Or off of Coors. Coors. If you're from Texas. So, That's right. So, so. And Tigo looks for me for the yeah, curves. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and by the way, that's Aaron Henry Diaz, our, our wonderful producer and obviously afternoon host of the Rock of Talk right here. So, Aaron Henry, thank you for produ- producing for us. And, Always and doing a pleasure. That. And, of course, we love the afternoon show. So, um, you know, uh, market staff, I just wanted to hit on a couple things because I saw some uh, national numbers that I thought were interesting. And we've been talking about this, that there's a lot of, of activity it seems like this spring, Tracy. Would you agree? There has been, and I know you're our stati- statistician, so I'm hoping that you brought some stats to share with us. Well, you know, the one number I've been talking about a lot is is the March pendings in Albuquerque were up 35 percent, 14 versus 15. It's a huge jump in the number of homes that that received and, and had a contract on the home. And and then I saw some national numbers that go back to February. Obviously, there's always a, a little bit of a delay, but it was kind of the same thing. It was almost double the amount of buyer activity uh, nationally from February of 14 to February of 15. So it just seems like there's a lot going on out there. And I know in our market, our when I say inventory, supply is low. Uh, it's been the lowest it's been since 2007, meaning the number of homes available to purchase versus the number of buyers available in the market. Yep. So if if you want to talk real estate with us, uh, give us a call. We have a realtor on duty number. It's 933-6881 or welcomehomeabq.com. And if you're interested in learning more about the neighborhoods where Scott builds or finding out about building a home, uh, Scott, tell us how to reach you. Well, we have a website that's a great place to look at uh, photos. We have a great photo gallery there of the homes we've built, lasventanasnm.com lasventanasnm.com or uh, my wife sells our real estate as well so you can contact her.
Yep. And you can always contact us, the Venturi team, and we can get you in, in touch with them and, and help you, obviously, with your real estate needs. That's that's what we do. And, um, Scott, I wanted to ask you, as, as we finish up here, we still have some time, but trends in, in new home construction uh, seem to have changed quite a bit just in the last 10 years. Would you agree with that? And before you do that, we've talked about trends in color and finishes. Oh, right, things. right. You're, you mean kind of construction methods and qualities and things? I, I think so. I, I don't want to say building standards because I don't know if the actual standards have changed, but it just seems like the products, materials, the way homes are being built are quite a bit different than even just in the last um, five, ten years. Is that I think the trend toward green building has really helped builders focus on those things that are important to building a good home. So the fact that many people are, are interested in the green build process has made myself and other builders yeah. focus on how we insulate homes, what type of materials we put in the homes to ensure that we have good indoor air quality, and the mechanical systems that we use in homes as well. And what I be, mean by the mechanical systems are the heating, the air conditioning, and uh, the water heaters in homes are all things that have gotten so much better and so much more efficient over the last few years. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how much, you know, you think about when the, the housing market was really just in that crazy boom time in 04, 05, 06, and, and then... You know, people, you know, nobody could build homes fast enough at one point there. And, of course, the, the switch just got turned off there for a little while. But it seems during that period where the market was was had slowed down, the builders just started to up in their game. I, I don't I don't know if that's true, but it just seems that way. I, I think you're right. And and that's definitely good for the consumer. We see builders who are professional builders who are now out building homes and um, that's good for the consumer because we have great quality now. Well, okay, let me say it then. Since you're a builder and a professional builder, I'll be the one to say it. And there were a lot of people that were, quote, builders that had their, you know, GB90A contractor's license, but they weren't necessarily home builders, but they knew they could go build a house, make a, you know, $50,000 and do another one, you know, when they had some more cash. But they weren't true professional home builders. That's right. And and the consumer really needs to focus and look for builders that do this all day, every day, and have done so for years. Well, and we say the th- same thing about real estate agents. And, That's, and it's repu- true. Reputation matters. Who's going to be around afterwards, you know, to make sure to yeah. take and, care and of the And product? so if somebody is looking for a, a home builder, obviously HBA, home builder, so agent, HBACNM, right? That's correct. HBACNM, Home Builders Association of Central New Mexico. That's a great resource, right? They can go to the website. They can see all of the builders that are that are part of that uh, association, correct? I, I've been on that website. It would be overwhelming. I would say go to Creative Homes. Oh, there you go. Okay. Walk there through houses. Talk to the builders. They're mostly on site at the properties. You can talk to them about what you like and see if it meshes with what they really build. That's a great tip, Tracy. Really, and in, in just like anything, it's about personalities and meshing with that person as well. And you know, there's a lot of great builders out there, but I suspect Scott that not everybody's going to jive with everybody out there. Just like again, just like any professional that you're hiring. It's exactly like hiring a realtor. So I'm sure it's something that you talk about and you experience all the time. Hiring a builder is just like hiring a great real estate agent. So yeah. you need to meet that person. You need to make sure that your personalities really work together. And that's why the Parade of Homes, Tracy's absolutely right. That's why the Parade of Homes is a great opportunity. If you're thinking about building a home, this is when you need to get out there, look at some homes, and decide who the right fit for you is. So, Scott, thank you so much for coming in, talking about the Parade of Homes. If you're if you're listening and just joined us, we've been talking about the Parade of Home. Get out there. There's a bunch of great homes to see this weekend. You can do that this weekend and next weekend. You've been listening to Albuquerque Real Estate Talk. And if you want to visit the Venturi team, we're at Welcome Home abq.com or you can call us at 933-6881 to talk about this show or any questions you have about real estate in Albuquerque. Have a great weekend.